as promised, here's a video to talk about how to do the math that we have in front of you, okay? You should have filled out this chart and you should have got a couple things. I'm gonna put these over here. You should have had a load of four ounces, current, and I'm gonna use my numbers. Feel free to follow along, okay? My numbers were 1.2 amps, and I'm just gonna do one set of measurements, okay? Voltage, 2.2, 204 BAC, you can just do volts from now on, but I want like documenting BAC, okay? And then speed is 1788 RPM. Okay, these are our numbers that we measured in class. And from there, we want you to do some calculations. First thing it's gonna ask you is torque. Um, something to keep in mind, torque, is, is distance times force. So on our, our little spindle here, we have a three inch diameter, if you can see me, and we have a force pulling up on this thing of four ounces, okay? So that's four ounces. But again, this whole thing went across the whole diameter. So let's just say that this is a six inch moment arm because we have three inches on the side here, three inches on the side with the same four, four ounces. Because technically, technically, two ounces will be, uh, two ounces will pull up this way, two ounces will pull up this way for a total of four. So if we add things together, what this basically looks like is six inches with a four inch force for torque, okay? If you're a mechanical engineer, don't beat me up on that, but that's my understanding of things. Um, I did take a semester of statics at some point in my day, but I'm a chemical engineer, so cut me some slack. So if I add, multiply the six by four, I should get a torque of 24 inch ounces. or ounce, in, ounce, ounce inches, yeah, inch ounces. So that's my torque, okay? As you go forward, basically just multiply your load by six, and that will give you your torque, okay? So, make sense? So just multiply that by six. So we got the, we have that done. Okay, what's next? Next is apparent power. Apparent power, is something for AC circuits. Um, just go with me on this. But this will be basically your true power times 1.26. Because remember, what is what is a watt? A watt is current times voltage, right? Because that's power. So if I take my current, 1.2 times my voltage, that will get me, and I did the math already, so will get me a, a watt of 28.5 watts. And this is the same as your true power. Okay? So that will be your true power. If I take this number here and multiply it by, so take your true power, your, your wattage, and, try, and multiply that by, so your watts times 1.73, that will get me my VA or my apparent power. So if I multiply this two together, so I multiply this 28.5, times a 1.23, that should get me, as I look at my math, 30, uh, 395.3 VA. And this is my apparent power.
Okay. So now we've we've calculated four, uh, three, three of the things that we want. You don't have to worry about newton meters. But next is the the output power. That's meter horsepower. Here's your equation. Okay. Now I have to put a your lab will say one thing. If you try to do it, it's going to be wrong because the units are wrong. Your torque is it is in, is is in inch ounces. So what you so in order to get your horsepower, you need to take your torque in foot pounds and multiply it by that. But how do you get this into foot pounds? I could show you, but if you just do this, take your torque, divide it by 192, multiply that whole thing by your RPM. And then divide it by 52, 52. This is a convergent factor, okay? So in my case, and I think I can go, in my case, it'll be 24 divided by 192 times 1788 divided by the 5252, 52, and that will give me 0 0.0426, okay? And this will be horsepower. And this here is your output power. Are you tracking with me so far? Okay? So we have my output power here. We have my torque here. So we have my torque, we have my output power, we have my true power, we have my parent power. So the last thing we need is our efficiency. And that will be, and that will be the horsepower, your horsepower times a conversion factor to turn this into watts, which that number is, 0.5 divided by your out, your your actual output power or your um your true power sorry make sure yeah your true power so in here your actual your true power so your watts what you calculated right here okay true power and if i plug all that in if i plug all that in I do 0 0.46 times 745.7 divide it by, oh, let me multiply that by 100. Sorry, the whole thing by 100. 285 times 100, and that will give me a efficiency of, where's my math at? 13.9%. So if I was filling in the chart, the numbers would look like this. So if you fill in this chart, if you fill in the chart that looks like this, here, going down, the load is four, the torque would be 24, the apparent power, 395, and I would do maybe inch ounces, 395.3 VA, make sure you put your units in if you can, but if you can't, I understand. Your parent power, 20, this would be the first one. Here, your first math might be different based upon your numbers. These are about my numbers. My output power would be, you don't have to do the kilowatts, okay? And the efficiency is 13.9%. That is how you do your math.